Bitcoin is going to break out within the next couple of days. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocko here and in today's video I'll talk about why I think Bitcoin will break out in the next couple of weeks guys. So the main reason is guys inside bars and tightening range. So to put it in simple terms guys as you can see this candlestick is completely within the previous candlestick. This is an inside bar and you can see these all three these candlesticks are within the main candle within this big green candlestick yes this candlestick candlestick did, did break out of that candlestick but we did not see any follow through guys so guys i'm not looking to trade uh, bitcoin until i have a breakout within this range until we until we break out of this range trades are not going to be high probability for me so you might be asking why I think it will break out. You can go back and look previously guys whenever we have three or four inside inside bars or inside days we have a breakout. If you go back and look at these um, this is probably not the best example because I'm not sure if that's a so that's a inside bar that is let's have a look 35. Yeah that's an inside bar because that is completely within that range of that big red candle and then we broke out we can look at there guys this was one inside by this one one two three four five six seven eight inside bars then we had a massive breakout here we had one two three so usually if you go back guys and look through bitcoin usually we have this three or four inside bars one two uh, then we broke out one two three then we broke out so usually we have this two three one two three four then we kind of had the sharp move down so that is why I'm predicting Bitcoin is going to have a breakout within the next two to three days I would imagine even earlier so the, the million dollar question is where will it break out will it break out below or will it break above that is the million dollar question and my bias is to the low I'm not sure whether it will happen or not like I said I am not trading until we break out of this range but if you go back and watch my previous video I made a video talked about this Gartley pattern where I talked about what could happen I, I, it was a tutorial on Gartley pattern if you don't know Gartley patterns you might want to watch this it's a fairly long video but I explained to you guys uh, in detail what I am looking for and potentially that Bitcoin could have a break high up to that level or even potentially higher um, again but I'm not saying it will happen for that to happen uh, Bitcoin need, needs to retrace to the 786 level which is around this level there are lots of confluence here as well so my bias is it will break below here and I'll expect it to hold around this uh, this area and after this guys I expect a leg up but will it be a leg up to the here and we break down finally or will it carry on higher guys so that is what we're not sure about but I think Bitcoin will have a breakout in the next couple of days and that is the target that I am looking for another reason for my bias is if you look on the daily the trend is bearish it doesn't need a genius to find out that it's a bearish trend and um, so your bar should always be to the to the downside also guys the moving averages are just above it on the daily guys and as you can see we're struggling to get above the moving averages so another touch of the moving averages we haven't touched the moving averages yet but all they're jumbled together one touch of it and we could be breaking down you can see the uh, moving averages go sideways then it breaks out and you can go back and check it for yourself it's happened previously it happens in any market very tight boom breaks out all together break out the strongest one one was when all three of them were together again all three are together now so could we finally see a breakout again it doesn't need to happen we're not sure exactly where it will break out my bias is here if we have a spike down and move up the that prediction that I made about that Gartley pattern could come true um, but we'll have to see how the price action plays out so at the moment I'm not looking to trade Bitcoin you can be trading other coins and make money and um, recently I made a really good trade on Chainlink I shared this on I made a video about this I'm not sure if you've watched it I talked about some of the coins that I'm looking at if you want me to make more of altcoin videos where I talk about the altcoins I'm looking to trade I'm happy to make that I talked about link um, in this video and I talked about how link can be the best looking chart so 
I posted this on 14th of January saying is this the best looking cryptocurrency chart it was around 13526 then uh, today I've reposted it and I talked about the profit that I took let's have a quick look at link chart now where it is now I'm still in a position it has had a pullback um, and potentially there was another buy opportunity I was I was already a uh, long on link so let's have a look where link is now so where I bought it uh, where I posted this it was at one three five two so now it is below that so guys it link has gone up 36 percent so i got in around there if you watch the video if you had bought it when i told you to you could have been sitting on about 20 percent profit if you took profits so link is another great coin guys and i think it might have another leg higher although there is some uh uh, divergences rsi divergence so it might pull back but if if it touches around this level you could look to buy or you could potentially uh, wait for the moving average to catch up because i think it will definitely have another leg up let's have a look at v chain um or vet as you call it now this is an oh that's not the right one let's go on binance that is another coin that has been performing well I talked about it in the video. V chain guys, that has done really well. So that vi that video was uh, about three days ago. So if you look just on the daily chart, V chain has had a bit of a breakout. So guys, as you can see, uh, some of the coins that you're looking at, DLT. I've traded this coin. This coin is brilliant. DLT and ontology are the other two coins i've been looking at uh, quite a lot these coins are really good to trade this coin had a crazy breakout and it was already really 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 uh, stretched it was really high up and again you can see the rsi divergence just coming in it had that pullback so chainlink could even have a bigger pullback it could jump from here and give you a few percentages but it's not the highest probability trade uh, it could give you another big pump the better thing would be to wait for the pullback i usually look um, at price action around the 618 level is a good level to buy at but it's, it's a risky trade to always look for that again you can see uh, 618 level boom and it jumped up again my stop loss i was already in dlt my stop loss was below here and now my stop loss not here i might actually take some profit because you can see it, it failed at that resistance so guys if you want me to make more altcoin videos let me know i will make some altcoin videos but i wanted to make a video on bitcoin guys and why i think bitcoin is going to break out and when i think bitcoin is breakout is so near i usually try not to trade altcoins because best time to trade altcoin is when bitcoin has a breakout and has consolidation now bitcoin could consolidate for another two three days or uh, or as i've predicted it will have a breakout soon i'm not a genius for predicting it guys it, it, this is just price action it, it happens all the time once you learn technical analysis uh, you you understand this bit if you um use um 80 there's uh, there's indicators for understanding trend i personally like to watch uh, price action and make my decision and you, you, moving averages people use ATR or other indicators ATR is a decent indicator to use I, I, I've used it before and I still use it in some instances but price action is the best indicator and and simple way is to see how the moving averages if the moving averages are together and moving sideways then you think oh it's not a ranging market if moving averages are spread across uh, then you could say it's a trending market and you could buy pullbacks or play one of those strategies guys again this is just my thoughts guys if you want me to do more tutorial videos guys um, email me below uh, my email address is below if you want some mentoring or if you have any questions let me know i'm happy to help you guys um or i don't sell any courses i just try and help you guys with free content and provide kind of the realist and, and talk uh, transparently of what i'm looking to do so hope you guys enjoyed that video um if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button it's only asked for me guys subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button with all the youtube algorithms i don't really know how it all works out um liking the liking the uh, liking subscribing and turning on the notification button i will really appreciate that also guys i'm doing 250 dollars worth of xrp giveaway if you want to win that uh, comment below your xrp address i hope you guys enjoyed that video
Again, trade carefully, guys. When it's sideways range, it is very difficult to trade. So thank you very much, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.